Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to transfer Google Fi eSIM to new phone. Step 1. Prepare for transfer. Important. Do not cancel your current phone service before the transfer of Fi is complete. The number must be active for the transfer to work. You can still use your old carrier until the transfer is complete. Contact current provider and request for account number and transfer pin or port. Step 2. Insert Google Fi SIM. Power down and insert SIM card. Power off your phone and insert your SIM card. For Pixel or eSIM phones, if you have a Pixel phone or an eSIM compatible device, you can st skip this step and turn on your phone if you prefer to use eSIM. Learn more about eSIM technology. Step 3. Enter the account information. Be ready to provide account information from your current carrier. Visit the Google Fi website to enter your carrier info. You need to enter current provider account number and your PIN. To see what additional info will be needed from your carrier, visit the Google Fi Help Center. Step 4. Wait for transfer notification. Once the transfer is complete, you will receive a notification on your Google Fi phone. Mobile numbers and numbers from Google Voice actually transfer within the first 3 hours. Landlines usually transfer within 2 business days. You can find the status of your number transfer in the Google Fi app and website. You can still use your old phone for calls, text and data until your transfer completes. Once the your number transfer is complete, you will receive a notification on your Google Fi phone. Step 5. Wait for the feature activation. Some features may not work immediately after your transfer is complete. There might be a brief delay from when your number is ported and when you can send and receive text messages again. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to our channel.